Hey everybody, it's Rick Kirkman with RK Stables here in Keystone Heights, Florida. And I'm here with Tommy San. This is my personal horse who uh, we do Hunter Paces together. And you know what? Today's video is on hoof care, which is really cool because it's one of the most important parts of the horse is their feet. The old saying is no feet, no horse, right? So I'm very, very lucky to have one of my closest friends out here in the equine industry. His name is Jeremy. Zekowalski. <laughs> Zekowski. There you go. Did I say it? Zekowski? <laughs> Jeremy Zekowski. I know him as the big daddy from Diamond Z. Okay, so, but he is awesome. He's an amazing guy. And we'll get him on in front of the camera here shortly. So, we'll be right back, all right? Thanks so, a lot. So, here we are uh, with Tommy San, our, our subject today, who's getting his feet done. And we're here with Jeremy Z. Oh, that works? Okay. <laughs> because I butcher his name so much. Those Asian people cannot say the Polish name very good. Are you Polish? Polish. Yeah, he's Polish, see? So he always starts, well, what side do you usually start on? With your feet? You go from the back to the front? I flip-flop. You flip-flop. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm just joking with you guys. So Jeremy's amazing. He's been doing this for, oh my goodness, for so many years. He's been uh, my farrier here with uh, my previous farm and now RK Stables for almost four years now five, about five think. years wow and uh, you know it's just like everything when you find a good vet you don't want to get rid of that vet you want to keep that vet for as long as possible because they become personal friends and they're there whenever you need them and it's the same way with a farrier so when you find a good quality farrier you don't want to let that person go all right so I'd like to introduce you to Jeremy Jeremy go ahead tell them a little bit about yourself man and and thanks for being on the video. You're a rock star. Thank you. And thank uh, you for having me. he's helped me with so many rescue horses. It's amazing. So, go ahead. Tell them a little bit about yourself and what you do, man. My name is Jeremy Zakowski. Oh, that's how you say it. Zakowski. <laughs> My business is uh, Diamond Z Trimming and Training. Um, I grew up around horses. Um, I used to raise Tennessee walking horses with my father when I was growing up. Um, I rodeoed for uh, many years, uh, riding rough stock, and then. Finally got too old and too beat up, so now I'm pushing my business forward to actually uh, teach the horses to be calmer and not buck, and uh, take care of them in any way that I, that I can. And I found that I, I love doing feet. Um, I went to the College of Central Florida down in Ocala. I have an AS degree in exercise and physiology for horses, an AS degree in equine business management, and a certificate for equine an assistant manager um, through CF. I really enjoy this. Um, I, I love doing the feet. I love uh, making the horses healthy and happy, and uh, just taking care of them and having them sound for the for the owners. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Wow. I didn't even know you did all that stuff. I just thought it was amazing with the horses. So that's really cool that we have a background on our farrier too. So don't be afraid when a farrier comes out for the first time to work on your horse. Ask them what qualifications they have. How long have they been doing it? And ask them where did they learn. All right, it's, these are important things. You just want some guy from the backyard coming over and trimming your feet because if they trim your horse's feet the wrong way, they can cripple your horse, right? Oh yeah. Absolutely, so that's very important. So I, I guess we'll just go ahead and get started rocking on with this horse, get his feet done, and uh, I'll ask him some questions while he's working on the feet. All right, so we'll get him all set up and we'll, we'll talk to you in just a second. So what, what exactly are you doing here? Right now I'm putting a bevel on the edge of the hoof wall just to keep it from being sharp and uh, that'll kind of help the growth. Okay. I, I remember you telling me a long time ago that you like to roll the toe. Yes. Right? Why, why do you roll the toe? Me personally, when, when you're just looking at, at weekend warrior trail riding horses, they usually go for long trail rides. Right. So I want to keep the horse comfortable. Um, I want to ease the break over. That, that eases the pressure on the tendons in the back of the leg. And when you look at the wild horses and the way they wear off naturally, they wear off with pretty much a rolled toe. So it makes sense to me. It's not the optimal setup for show horses that need more leg action and stuff. Right. But it does make it more comfortable on the horse for long trail rides. Okay. So I know that some of these people are saying, well, I don't see you putting shoes on this horse. So what is the benefit of just being barefoot like this for a horse like Tommy versus putting shoes on a horse like Tommy? Well, we are in Florida, so most of the ground is pretty soft. You either got grass or sand. Um, you got more flexion in the foot, 
when the, when you keep them barefoot. Um, the frog stays closer to the ground. That helps pump the blood up and down the leg into the foot. And uh, it just keeps them healthy. Um, shoes do have their place, uh, depending on what you're doing in the show ring with them. Mm -hmm. Sit on that. Um, or they're good for corrective situations. If the horse has a pathology, uh, different things. Laminitis, navicular syndrome, um, white line disease. You really, there's certain things you don't want to put shoes on for white lines one of them because you want to be able to section everything out and get air to it to kill it. But um, if the foot starts growing bad because of a pathology, sometimes you can put a wedge or a pad or something in the shoe to protect the foot, um, reposition the angles of the foot to get the pressure correct to where the foot grows out correct. So, we're always looking for reasons to make new videos for our, for our beginners and people that are just really interested in this kind of stuff. If I was to do some other videos about feet, what do you suggest we do? Uh, Probably hoof cleaning, right? Yeah, That's cleaning. important. Um, if you have an abscess, what, what's a good? Okay, remedy and treatment? Yeah, remedy okay. and treatment on that. Alright, cool. Um, white line disease, that's a good one. Because if the horse stays in a, in a bad environment for too long, what, get, uh, white line disease is a fungal infection. Where what, the white, what you what you look for is if the white line itself, the, the line in the hook between the sole and the hook wall, gets real powdery. Okay. They can cause some pain. And I have heard of it causing laminitis in the long run when it wasn't taken care of. Because um, the horse will they'll change the how they're putting pressure on right. their feet, the way they're standing to kind of ease get, the pain. Yeah, get rid of the pain. Um, but it's a fungal infection. So there's different treatments for it. Right, and you shared some really awesome treatments with me that won't break the bank. And that's something that I definitely will do is some different home remedies that we can use versus going and buying the most expensive product on the market. We, there's things that you can mix together. I think one of them was, uh, it was um, triple antibiotic. Yeah, triple antibiotic ointment athlete's foot and cream. athlete's That's foot cream. And you mix them together and you can use that for thrush instead of using, uh, what's that purple stuff? Uh, thrush Buster. Thrush Buster or one of those uh, yesterday or tomorrow. 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 <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. Tomorrow. But there are ways to do this. So if you don't have the budget to spend uh, a little extra money, there's things that you probably already have in the house that you can use to treat it. I've, I've even heard of people making bleach solutions to treat thrush and things like that on the foot. So tea tree oil works really tea tree too. oil too. So a lot of a lot of times you have this stuff in your in your in your house in, in your uh, in your bathroom in the medicine cabinet. So that's very cool man. I appreciate it and um, I thank you for your time sir. How many horses are we doing today? Seven total. Seven number one. Number one. We got six more to go. So I don't know. We might go ahead and take some more video of him doing some of the feet on the other horses. That's cool. And uh, if we could come up with any questions, we'll go ahead and ask him. All right. So thank you very much. And we'll talk to you in a few. So, Jeremy, do me a favor real quick for our guests, our video watchers, and our repeat watchers. Hey, can you show them the proper way to clean a hoof? Yes, sir. Awesome. Yes, sir. All right. I'm going to hold this foot with my leg. That frees my hands up to where I can do more. I'm, I'm gonna take my hoof pick and I'm gonna dig out. These are called collateral grooves on each side of the frog. I'm gonna dig in there. And then you always kind of want to end by going to the apex of the frog, which is that point in the front. You end there and then I can work in the white line area between the sole and the hoof wall. Just dig in there and see if, if there's anything caked up in there that you can get out. <laughs> That's, that's pretty much it. That's a clean foot. Some of them get nastier, and there's a lot more to pick out, but that one, it is what it is. <laughs> so, Jeremy, yes, what sir. exactly is the the reason why we have to trim these horses on, every six to, six to eight weeks? On average, a horse's foot grows about three quarters of an inch a month. And depending on the environment that they're in, depends on how much of that foot wears off naturally. And then it all depends on the conformation of the horse as to how balanced that wears off. So every six to eight weeks is a good safe, every really four to eight weeks, depending on the animal, is a good safe span to trim the foot and make sure that we keep them balanced so the foot grows out balanced and natural and somewhat natural and uh, keeps them comfortable.
and it keeps their stride correct. Awesome. So, you know, I've had uh, quite a few people ask me this question, and, and hopefully I've been giving them the right answer, but uh, let me ask you this question here. Let me cut in front of you. Yes, sir. I, um, Tommy, calm down. Be a good boy. All right, so you got his foot there. Okay, so uh, does nutrition have anything to do with the foot? A lot to do with the foot. That's why they have... Uh, they have, a good feed will have biotin in it. Biotin is good for the hoof and the hair and everything else. Mm -hmm. But that's why they also make supplements because some horses, no matter how much you feed them in their normal grain or whatever they get in the grass, they still could use some more biotin. Okay. That's why they make the supplements for it. So if they have a poor, a poor diet, what you're saying is their growth could be slower. Slower, they, their, their hoof walls can get weak. That's more more uh, apt to have cracks, um, softer soles, all kinds of problems can go wrong with them. Okay. Well, like I said earlier in the intro, you know, a lot of the people that are watching this video are not going to be your typical, I've been doing it my whole life. These are new folks checking things out. So could you real quickly just give me the anatomy of this foot? Yes, sir. All right. Starting at the back, you got your heels. These are your bulbs of your heels. This is the frog. The frog is actually the heart of the foot. That's what pumps the blood up and down the leg into the foot. You got your exterior hoof wall, your white line, your sole. And then these lines right here are called bars. And that's actually like an in internal structure of the hoof wall that kind of helps support the heel. Um, there's different things that can go wrong with the frog. You can get thrush. So um, what is thrush? Thrush is a bacterial infection that can kind of eat the frog from the inside out. And if it gets really bad, you can have gaps. And this is called the central sulcus to where you can have like a line in here where the, the thrush will eat the frog from the inside out. And then the heels will start contracting. And then if they're putting a lot of pressure on their toe because their heel's sore, then their heel will chase the toe because growth goes to pressure. And you can have a horse with underrun heels, contracted heels, and then no frog and that's very unhealthy but so, this horse's foot is pretty doggone healthy outstanding because that's my horse <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah all right well cool that's awesome man thanks well it's been another long day here at the ranch we want to thank you to diamond z being out here jeremy he's a rock star always helping us out and always trying to teach our our people we, we have a 4-h here at at uh, rk stables and they're actually learning everything from the ground up you know it's just pretty cool I apologize for the shirt. It's a hot day in Florida. <laughs> but uh, again, we want to thank him. And uh, if you want to check him out, check out uh, the comments below. Uh, I'll put a, a link to his uh, Facebook page. Uh, just go ahead and go ahead. You can hit him up. Throw he more than happy to answer any questions for you, I'm sure. He's an awesome guy. And uh, if you have any questions or any ideas for another video that maybe something you wanted to know about, we could go ahead and do that video and, and, and call you out and make sure that you know that uh, that video is out there with your name on it, okay? Well, again, thanks again. RK Stables, Keystone Heights, Florida. We do the boarding, the lessons. What else do we do? We do training. We do it all. It's a one-stop shop. Thanks, guys. Have a blessed day, and we'll talk to you soon. Hey, do us a favor and hit subscribe if you like the video and the thumbs up. We hope you enjoyed. Have a blessed day.